morning, dear professors, dear chairman, and, and the members of the state of the Swiss Commission, as well as the other students. Let me start today's qualification test. Thanks. I wish you all good luck. And the first uh, one is Rubulai Vamikri Vamisayana. The first one is work about types of shortening and the function of modern English. Scientific advisory is uh, philosophy. Good morning, dear teachers and students. Uh, thank you for your present uh, today. Um, my name is Nadal Mekribai. Of uh, four, four to six group, uh, and so my qualification work uh, name name is uh, types of, types of uh, shortening, uh, shortening and their function in modern English. My uh, uh, scientific uh, advisor uh, is uh, Sapanyazov Kostyan uh, Shanyazovich. <clears throat> my qualification uh, work. My qualification work uh, consists of uh, uh, consists of introduction, uh, two parts, um, conclusion, references, and references. Uh, the actuality, uh, actuality of this work uh, caused by several important points. We seem as uh, we seem to say that the shortening uh, of the words uh, is one of the main trends in the develop, uh, development of modern English, especially in its uh, colloquial uh, lawyers, which in its uh, terms uh, at uh, high degrees uh, is supported by the development of modern information, informational uh, techniques and uh, simplification of. Uh, live speech. Uh, the aim of this work, uh, the aim of this work, uh, is giving a uh, general characteristics to uh, shortened uh, lexical units and uh, defining uh, the main ways, types, causes, and functions. The objective of this work, um, of the work, um, collect um, collect the theoretical materials about abbreviation. Uh, their function and meanings, uh, study and analyze the scientific and educational literature, uh, analyze uh, the existing category, uh, categorization of shortening <coughs> and define uh, shortening uh, lexical units and uh, perform practical analysis about the usage of innovation in mass media, and medicine, <coughs> informational and technical sphere. First chapter one. Chapter one uh, is theoretical aspects of uh, shortened words, uh, shortening of spoken words. <clears throat> As a type of word building, uh, shortening of uh, spoken words, also called clipping or uh, curtailment, uh, is recorded uh, in English languages uh, as far back as the 15th century. Uh, it has grown more and more uh, productive um, ever since. This growth uh, and became especially marked in many European languages in the 20th century, and it, uh, it, uh, it is uh, a matter of common uh, knowledge and that is um, development is particularly uh, incident in English. Newly shortened words uh, appear uh, continuously. Uh, this is uh, testified by uh, numerous uh, neologisms uh, such as dub, uh, uh, form, and dub uh, means double, uh, a cinema term meaning to make another recording of soundtrack uh, in a film in a different language. In a different language. Uh, or fridge, uh, uh, fridge or uh, freak or fridge uh, from uh, refrigerator, refrigerator, refrigerator uh, 
uh, or mic uh, from microphone and so on. And abbreviation uh, is a shortened form of a word uh, that does not end uh, with the same letter as the original word. Uh, generally, full stop are used. Uh, for example, um, day and months, uh, uh, day and months, uh, Jan uh, means January, Feb means February, and uh, and so on, and many others. Um, compass uh, point, uh, many others. Uh, there are uh, two types of abbreviation: is uh, graphical and lexical. Graphical abbreviation are the result of shortening of words and uh, word uh, group word groups only in uh, written speech, while orally the corresponding full form are used. They are used for the economy of, of space and uh, for uh, the writing. The, the writing. The oldest group uh, of graphical abbreviation in English uh, is of Latin origin. Uh, Latin uh, words are shortened while orally the corresponding English uh, equivalents are pronounced in the full form. E.G. means, for example, uh, Latin form. Uh, Latin form of this word is uh, example gratia. Uh, or A.M. A.M. Uh, means in the morning. Uh, Latin form of this word is ante meridian. Uh, lexical abbreviation are classified according to the part of the word uh, which is clipped. Uh, lexical abbreviation have um, four types of uh, abbreviation. Uh, the first is apocryphy. Uh, apocryphy uh, is apocryphy uh, uh, is uh, type of abbreviation when uh, the end of the when the end of the word uh, is clipped uh, because uh, the beginning of the word uh, may in beginning of the word, in many cases, uh, in, is the root and express the lexical of the word. Uh, for example, uh, disco. Uh, uh, full form is uh, uh, discotheque uh, or uh, expo, exposition. Uh, the second type is uh, aphoresis. Uh, aphoresis uh, is um, when the beginning of the word uh, is clipped. Uh, for example, uh, shoot. Uh, full form is, uh, of this word is parachute. Uh, the third uh, type of uh, abbreviation is uh, syncope. Uh, syncope, uh, in, in, uh, syncope uh, we use when the abbreviation uh, syncope uh, is. Uh, Operation uh, type of operation uh, when uh, the middle of the word is clipped. Uh, for example, math. Uh, the full form of this word is mathematic. Uh, the last one uh, is uh, combination. Uh, combination uh, combination uh, of uh, echo with aphoresis. Uh, <clears throat> when the beginning and the end uh, of uh, of the word is clipped. Uh, for example, tech. Uh, full form of this word is detective. Uh, detective. Uh, initial operation. Initial operation are, uh, are are the bordering case between graphical and lexical operation. Uh, there are three types of initial initial in English. Uh, the first step is initial uh, with alphabetical reading, such as UK, uh, United Kingdom, or BUP, British uh, United Press, uh, and so on. Mm -hmm. The second type, uh, type uh, of uh, initialism, uh, which are uh, read as if they, uh, which are read as if they are word, uh, organization. Uh, 
more open uh, uh, organization of uh, petroleum and exporting countries. The third type of initialism is uh, initialism which, which uh, coincide uh, with uh, English words and their sounds form. Such initialism are called acronyms. Uh, for example, class, computer-based uh, laboratory of automated school system, and uh, so on. Uh, minor types of classical oppos uh, opposition. Uh, sound, uh, sound, uh, interchange, uh, sound interchange is a way of the word building when some, uh, when some sounds are changed uh, to form a new word. Uh, it is non productive and it is non productive in modern English. Uh, it was uh, productive in old English uh, and can be met uh, in other Indo European languages. <clears throat> Cases of historical interchanges of uh, sounds in English can be found uh, among the three forms uh, of uh, regular verbs. Uh, the degrees of comparison of advertisement, um, <clears throat> adjectives, uh, and different uh, parts of speech uh, originated, uh, for, uh, originated uh, from one root and uh, archaic forms uh, of the rule of non nouns and other grammatical phenomena. Sound imitation or um, onomatopoeia. Uh, is uh, a name is the naming of the action or uh, scenes uh, by uh, by more or uh, less exact reprodu uh, reproduction uh, of the second uh, of the songs. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> In conclusion, um, <clears throat> I can say that a uh, shortening word um, uh, is uh, very uh, 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 is very uh, is very productive and uh, <clears throat> uh, they uh, shortening words uh, can uh, uh, can uh, save uh, save spaces uh, and in save spaces in writing uh, and uh, <clears throat> in my. Uh, in my research and work, I uh, com uh, I compared uh, three sphere, uh, uh, mass media, uh, medicine, and uh, medicine and technical uh, technology um, information informational technology uh, uh, sphere uh, in. Yeah, uh, what's the difference between initials, shortening, initial shortening, and acronym shortening? These examples. Uh, initial shortening uh, is uh, when the uh, uh, when the word. Uh, Uh, initial shortening uh, uh, is um, when the letter word uh, 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 
English uh, acronyms. Uh, uh, acronyms uh, is uh, these words uh, uh, when uh, when we read. Uh, mm. Is shopping through the Polish high city extension center. In mass media, and it is full star. We should have a lot of should start Scatter, Jabush, Mosul, Jimush, Mosul. Uh, it's uh, uh, it uh, saves the space uh, when we're writing, and it's very easy to uh, it's very easy to use. Shoes in the web to the hemisphere. Dishes, <laughs> So I have a question. What is the um, object of your investigation? Uh, next question. Tell me about the back condition. This example. First question. Object of your investigation. Next question about back formation. Uh, back formation are called uh, reversion. Uh, it's a term uh, borrowed from diachronical linguistics. Uh, it don don't, uh, it uh, denotes uh, in the derivation of uh, new words uh, by by subtracting uh, a real uh, or supported affix uh, from existing uh, words uh, through means uh, in. So, uh, we have to look at it. We have to look at it. We have to look at it. We Thank 
Good morning, dear teachers and students. I am Oras Bay Mohida, student of Pro 426. Before introducing my qualification work, I want to tell uh, you, dear teachers, uh, I thank you with my all here for uh, everything you taught me. And then I wish good luck for other students uh, and a good mood. My qualification work name is Descent Education Technologies in English Classes. Uh, and uh, before, uh, first of all, introduce my uh, qualification work structure. Uh, it consists of uh, following parts. Um, introduction, chapter one about the theoretical basis of uh, distance education. Chapter two uh, about current situation of implementing education in higher education in Uzbekistan. Conclusion and the list of user literature. Introduction, actuality of the work. Uh, the digital age has not only made e-learning feasible, it has made it a preferred uh, style of learning for students uh, throughout the world. Through distance uh, learning, students worldwide have uh, <clears throat> access to a network of European institutions that uh, offer a large selection of programs in uh, different languages and they give students um, the flexibility to earn uh, their diplomas in the classroom. Uh, entirely learning or through a blend of classroom and distance coursework. Indeed, distance education is a modern and a highly flexible form of education that has its own characteristics and is rapidly evolving today. It is a requirement of the, uh, the times and it requires a little uh, regulation. The aim of the work is to describe distance education opportunities and its role in the development of education, uh, specific characteristics of distance education, and to explore uh, the local situation uh, of using distance education in uh, local context in order to identify challenges and achievements in this field. The object of the research is the pursuit of distance education during pandemic situation in Uzbekistan. The subject of research is the learning staff of English school study at the higher education establishments and the <coughs> learning English for C1 level and the teaching staff who prepare uh, future professionals. Research methods used in this work are general philosophical for the study and the analysis of literature on philosophy and the psychology, linguistics and the methodology, psychology and the pedagogy and the regional studies, uh, and the psychological and the pedagogical for the analysis, collection and, <coughs> and accumulation of facts, observation, study and the generalizations of uh, experience of teaching English language questionnaires, uh, interviews, reporting for organizing the results of exploration on the use of distance education in local context. Chapter 1, Theoretical Basis of Distance Education. Distance education or distance learning is a field of the education that focuses on the pedagogy, andragogy, technology, and the instructional systems of design that is effectively incorporated in delivering education to students who are not physically able to receive their education. In this sense, education teachers and the students may communicate 
uh, at times of their own choosing by exchanging printed or electronic media or through technology and that allows them to communicate in real time. And that there have a two uh, generation. First, the generation of the distance education refers to uh, those which mainly utilize writing and the printed text and the postal service of for delivering such um, text in the forms of books, newspapers, and the manuals. It is so called a printed based correspondence education. In this stage, in interaction between teachers and the students was usually limited to a correspondence, meaning had written text and they were sent via postal mail. The second generation is char characterized by the use of radio and the television as instructional media uh, in addition to print materials. This generation is often referred to as an industrial mode of distance education with highly specialized division of labor in produ producing and delivering instructional. Chapter 2, current situation of implementing uh, distance education in, in higher education in Uzbekistan and the distance learning policy raises problem in our country. First problem is uh, because of the sudden distance education uh, or learning policy, uh, many educational institutions uh, at various levels are not ready yet to apply distance learning and then letting into, uh, instructors choose their respective. Uh, tools such as Moodle, Google, uh, Google Classrooms, and the Hemis. The second problem is uh, a <clears throat> raised complaints from uh, students uh, and the instructors related to internet costs and in conducting distance learning. These problems become important issue to implement to implement distance learning in the country. Analysis of current situation of using distance education in Karakal, Pakistan. Data collection in, in this study carried about out by distri uh, dis distributing survey questionnaires that had been uh, <clears throat> made previously to students and the teachers of English in Karakal Pakistan higher educational establishments pur purposefully uh, as we would like to <clears throat> work in Karakal uh, to answer. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. In conclusion, uh, our <clears throat> in today's world, distance education uh, has been becoming more complex and flexible, uh, multifaceted, and at this time, gone uh, by with added features and uh, technologies. And uh, uh, there have uh, several technologies in, in our country for uh, platforms, model platforms, games platforms, or and uh, there have several. Um, <clears throat> As for example, Telegram, uh, WhatsApp, and the Zoom uh, uh, Zoom programs. For example, in Zoom uh, programs uh, in our countries, uh, students uh, is suggested based in survey results, uh, which show that uh, eighty percent of Karakalpak students uh, use it. And uh, you know, uh, for example, in Google Classroom as learning uh, app based on the so the result were 74.2% uh, 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 student in Karalpak uh, in Karalpakistan use it. Um, and then we use uh, technologies now. Uh, our students or learners, uh, how can I say, uh, very uh, for them very comfortable and uh, very to easy uh, to use easy. I think. Um, um, with these technologies, we uh, we can learn uh, anything. Uh, okay, it's enough. Question: uh, Main effects of uh, distance education. Business. Distance. Distance. Uh, distance. Yeah. Main effects. Distance uh, education. Mm. Is that uh, for example, main effects of uh, distance education. Uh, First of all, you uh, uh, you don't uh, spend a lot of time, or and uh, you you use a lot of uh, programs or or video um, platforms or audio platforms or uh, there have uh, several methods and uh, 
and there have a lot of things to learn a lot of uh, about the la language or anything um, and the, for uh, for learners and the, for uh, teachers it's very useful and uh, it's very comfortable uh, atmosphere or zone uh, because uh, some students uh, don't like to uh, speaking or um, speaking to uh, a lot of around a lot of peoples but uh, and uh, more peoples uh, nowadays more peoples uh, like to listen uh, another pe uh, persons I see ask that question mm -hmm. what kind of up to date cutting edge apps you have used it in the classroom through teaching and learning distance learning, maybe through uh, Zoom platforms or other platforms. Mm -hmm. How apps like uh, the apps? Have you ever installed any kind of <coughs> up to date apps you have used it in the classroom? In, uh, in the classroom? Uh, when the uh, uh, pandemic uh, pandemic uh, situation in Uzbekistan. We use it uh, app uh, model and then uh, Zoom uh, model pro platform platform. Yes. Platform platform. Uh, Zoom. Yes. Uh, apps. Apps, for example, Telegram. Telegram uh, apps. Why not in our chair, but in the language and literature department? Mm. Why do you have chosen that department? Because no, no. this department has uh, many friends and uh, the one who is the one who is the So you have taken the general awareness from the other seekers and the Thank you. 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 Thank I uh, did a questionnaire for teachers and uh, students for high uh, systems. For example, I uh, gave them uh, simple questions. Okay, um, what is the criteria? Criteria? Uh, so, <coughs> It's time that work is about developing the young learners' vocabulary skills using communicative approach. Scientific advisor is senior teacher of English and Music Department, Rashid. 
Um, good morning, uh, dear members of the uh, Artistation Commission. Uh, today, my thesis uh, is devoted to the development, uh, development of Macaulay skills uh, in younger school children using a communicative approach. Uh, this research uh, was uh, aimed at answering several uh, questions related to the implementation of this method in our company. Our, uh, our work consists of two chapters. Uh, the first chapter is a theoretical, theoretical description of the development of baccalaureate skills uh, in young school children using a communicative approach in foreign language classes. Uh, the communicative approach in teaching English helps uh, to arouse the interest of students and helps teachers easily explain concepts. Baccalaureate textbooks uh, for primary schools, uh, students are those textbooks that are used in the classroom to stimulate, uh, stimulate the learning practice of students. Uh, visual aids are tools that help make uh, a problem or lesson clearer uh, or easier to understand. <clears throat> uh, in the present paper, we mainly focus uh, on the importance of the developing students' practical skills uh, using communicative approach. Many, uh, many also and the researchers in the field uh, of education uh, have developed interesting works uh, and present definition of and graphic organizers in, uh, as interesting tools for logical learning. Uh, it is uh, easy to understand information uh, from a graphic organizer than from a paragraph. Uh, they, can, they can be used at the beginning of the lesson uh, to familiarize uh, themselves with a fragment of what they have read so uh, that students can conclude about the uh, context and message. <clears throat> They can show the connection between the students uh, already now and the uh, new topic. Uh, thus, a meaningful learning develops easily. Uh, they can help to identify patterns in students' reading, for example, to determine the main idea of the story as well as uh, accurate details. <clears throat> they help students uh, structure uh, their learning, uh, visualize how information is presented and organized in the text of any journal. Uh, or make uh, diagrams of stories to improve understanding. So they creatively and uh, interestingly summarize a large amount uh, of educational uh, lexical information. They develop uh, critical thinking at different levels of tips, even if the texts are at elementary stage of uh, cognition. Uh, so uh, my uh, qualification uh, paper, uh, topical, uh, topicality of the work. So our qualification paper is about using communicative approach in teaching vocabulary. First of all, uh, we have uh, written it uh, for English language teachers who teach this language to native speaking students uh, at schools, licensed professional college and high institution. But it could also be useful for adult learners. Other friends who are only going to learn a wonderful world of English. We believe uh, that information about uh, finance and uh, theoretical uh, views in second language acquisition research can make a better judge of claims made by the textbook uh, writers and opponents of various language teaching methods. The topicality of the research uh, is uh, Stipulated uh, by a rapid change in education mm -hmm. and uh, inter uh, cultural communication caused by the development of the value and the new and present uh, methods, methods of teaching of modern technologies. The basic purpose of qualification paper is, uh, is to offer some insight uh, into uh, the productive impact to communicate the approach uh, on the learning as well as. Uh, teaching and uh, to examine the advantage and disadvantage um, just of this approach and uh, how it can easy uh, the task of, of the teachers and the uh, right students' motivation. Uh, and the objective um, uh, of this paper is to uh, demonstrate uh, the effectiveness and the uh, productivity of communicative approach uh, 
uh, and how it can how it can uh, influence students environment and academic productivity of teaching Mr. So the practical uh, best and the mass of research paper uh, best of research is uh, decrease of the uh, president of uh, the Republic of Uzbekistan about development of language education is uh, education and science and national program uh, on a professional training uh, and best researchers in uh, the field of the theory of, uh, theory of linguistics. Uh, so, and the practical importance and the degree of ambient effectiveness, the practical value of the work uh, is, the, is the fact that the result of the research can be used in teaching all level students, all the students at school, and we believe uh, that it also can be used uh, at high schools, at licensed professional college and high educational institutes. The analysis of our uh, research paper can be useful for practical courses of English language uh, and language teaching, as well as as a second uh, language teaching. It helps to achieve the best result in teaching English. So, uh, in conclusion, uh, I can say the main goal of this uh, collaboration paper was to show how communicative approach is used in developing to young learners that have skills and to answer the questions. Questions how and why this work and in what way exactly they help the learner remember the work he or she studies. For this purpose, uh, we divide this collaboration paper paper into the theoretical and practical parts. The theoretical part uh, in this short so general, also some examples of course mentioned. In the history of language teaching, uh, certain methods uh, and approach such as audio language, grammar translation, uh, total physical response, uh, natural approach, less play approach. Uh, have uh, come in, into a view. Is it on? Yes. Yes, uh, What is communicative approach and <coughs> its techniques? Activities that you can use in your paper. Yes. So, uh, communicative approach. Uh, this uh, we uh, used uh, for teaching young learners. Uh, this uh, method. Of, uh, just young learners. Hmm? Just for young learners. No, not just for 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 just uh, not just young learners for maybe adult learners. Uh, yes, learners of. Uh, for uh, teaching English language uh, from the step by step, uh, is it too complex? I mean, uh, too difficult? Using a communicative approach. Mm -hmm. uh, what techniques, activities, uh, you analyze in your paper for mm -hmm. developing vocabulary? Uh -huh, yes. Okay, uh, so. Uh, for uh, teaching uh, vocabulary skills for young and adult uh, overall uh, learners, uh, we can use uh, uh, techniques, uh, games, uh, methods. Uh, for teaching English, uh, we can uh, use games, puzzle, uh, uh, tell story, mm -hmm. study new words. Uh, uh, we can show us this uh, picture. This way, uh, we can uh, teach uh, young or adult pupils uh, to uh, what is the picture, maybe. For, uh, for example, uh, for young pupils, uh, children, uh, school children, uh, we can uh, show a picture with a picture ball or any things. For example, parents, uh, father and mother, can just like. About the graphic analysis, which graphic analysis did you use to teach 
So, Kafka uh, Kanda is this uh, uh, expression? Uh, so. Yes. I have the So I am sorry. That's why. Uh, Timur, Timur, oh, Timur. Timur, on page 36 of your paper, you have shown too many uh, types of competences. Uh, Uh, <coughs> we have to change in the discourse conference. Sorry, discourse conference. Discourse conference. Ona mě bude se nějak spolustřelit, ona je tuž od sebe, sedět, hned přijít do něho, být kouzelný, ale šalobu pátou kouzelnou, šalobu třetí, jedinou rád kouzelnou. Rád bych se stal. Takže když jsem se stal, jsem žili měli jasnou. Ona byla moje předsudky. Co to je spolustřelit? Good morning, dear teachers and students and 
the uh, members of the said station and uh, today's my presentation is, is benefits of developing creative thinking skills and English as a, one of the main uh, of a uh, dialogue and knowledge around the world takes a special place in the system of modern education of, an, of the social informative and developing functions. Teaching foreign languages is connected with development and both thinking and emotions of and other other spheres of person. Then importance of important and necessity of including of a people is underlined in the middle in political literature and of last year on teaching foreign languages and the actuality of the work. Traditional methods of developing critical thinking skills and requires urgent renovation, inadequate development and of a training system development of creative thinking. And the lack of special scientific methodological methodological research on the assist and effectively working methods effectively working means of teaching students creative thinking skills and using modern teaching technologies cause the choice of a third topic. Then the aims of the research paper to concentrate concepts, develop activity. Sure. Teaching a foreign language. The second is benefits of developing in independent creative activity at activity at the English lessons. Uh, the next to investigate practical application of methods and the teaching teaching forms promoting and development of skills of independent activity of school children in the course of training. Okay, next. The novelty of the work lies in the in the fact that the author of the study offers a more refined and then a brand new efficient working efficient working methods of teaching creative thinking skill of a given materials achieve it through, uh, achieve it through the four four languages skills in a group in affairs in public then individual individual as well as with the with the active participation of teachers in, in the classroom. Okay, chapter one is theoretical backgrounds of theoretical background on teaching critical thinking. What is critical thinking? Critical thinking is about applying imagination, imagination to finding solution to your learning tasks. Critical thinking emerges as a relaxed, open, playful approach, such and approach, and is less ordered, structured, and predictable. And than critical thinking. Therefore, it also requires some risk test. And as there is chance that you will make mistake or not come up with an answer at all, then you need to be prepared to cope with the result risk and Confusing, confusing and disordered. 
if you are general ordered and organized, this may take some getting used to critical critical thinking skill areas, much about attitude and self confidence as about talent. Next is um, John Paul Capemiro. <laughs> the human is being a creative species. We are born creative, but we are not alike in our creativity. We use it in different ways and different degrees. Creative techniques. Uh, at this presentation, I give you short information about techniques. And the first is investing techniques. 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 I'm sorry. It's my okay. The first is inventory techniques. And the second is associated techniques. That's technique. Techniques. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Provocative technique. And the third is. Fourth is Confront confrontational technique. Uh, the first is intuitive technique. Uh, uh, the same. Okay. Conclusion. Conclusion. Uh, for... Yes. 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 Information about this. I want to change the world. Okay. Conclusion. It is very competitive success we live in the need for creative thinking no more and demands more than ever. Both the corporate and organ organizational landscape and require creativ creativity from their staff and employees. May it, may it be to come up and with superbly and packaged product and teasing marketing campaigns. And innovation background. Questions, please. Yeah. That's good practice. Have you used creative thinking skills at school? Yes. Mm -hmm. During your teaching practice. Thank you. Teaching creativity is in school? Okay. Plenty of creativity training is awesome. Yes. Oh. Thank you. Uh, uh, as a lesson. Teaching, because thinking, uh, I give and I prepared hand handout materials and playing cards materials and teaching. And if I teach uh, the students, what um, I will give them either for teaching creatively, playing games and puzzles and sports act. Uh, Physiological acti uh, sports. So, what's the most effective technique for developing critical thinking? Technique? Creative thinking. Here you have spice. Creative thinking. How to so we have analyzed several activities, yes? Uh, in the conclusion, what, do, what is your suggestion? What activities do you suggest? 
живет при Крейте Тиги. А если в Туке одна и та же дуба, то ему все кастинг. Identifying your own ideas first. And seeing good as in the bad. When you, anything, when you, see, no, the technique is. Good morning, dears. I'm Rambergen Vesuar, and I'm the student uh, of the group for two uh, The same for my topic, for my qualification work is uh, question and answer technique to enhance student speaking ability. Um, my scientific advisor is Jean-Bert Vatelfuse. The work consists in introduction to chapters, conclusion, and the list of user literature. As our president, uh, Islam uh, Shakat Mirziyev mentioned, English and all the foreign languages that are taught in our republic are of great importance in the educational system now. Our presidential decree is approving that by working out the concept of the development, development of the national education system of Uzbekistan until 2030. The aim of this work is to find out the effect of question and answer technique towards students speaking ability to find out the effect of question and answer technique towards students' learning, motivation, and speaking skill. So why do I want to get better at questioning technique? The first reason is get people interacting in whole class discussions, differentiate questioning in de to develop in everyone, use questioning for feedback on quality of teaching, Get all pupils more involved in the learning. They need to write better CFE assessment and get pupil thinking. Uh, why do teachers ask questions? The first reason is to actively involve students in the lesson, to increase motivation or interest, to evaluate students' preparation, to check on completion, completion of work, to develop critical thinking skills, to review previous lessons, to nurture insights, to assess and learning. So what are the characteristics of a good question? It will be a short question, properly directed questions, thought-provoking, unambiguous, relevant, common vocabulary, comprehensive, straightforward, clearly stated, and related to the objectives and relevant. So strategies and practical ideas for questioning techniques are uh, begin every unit with questions. Level thinking questions have students draw pictures to investigate their thinking. Use interactive read aloud. The question is why I must uh, find answer to already answered questions when I have questions that have not yet been answered. Uh, which questions matter, why, which, and how? 
The question is how come the teacher asks all the questions when I'm the one who needs to know things? Most questions come from the teachers. Often at the rate of the one question over every three or two seconds. Why? Requires analysis of cause effect, which requires thoughtful decision making. How is problem solving synthesis? Reminding myself about the purpose of code questioning is to develop thinking skills, to promote curiosity and uh, investigation, to develop new ideas and to encourage people to take risks. Clarify ideas, allow people to learn about things that interest them, to reduce the fear, to, in, to create challenge, to check prior knowledge what ha has been learned. Question techniques I know about don't always put into practice. They are use wait time of for responses, encourage people to ask the questions of each other and teacher, use an appropriate mix of closed and open questions, prepare some key questions prior to lesson, vary the challenge of the language user, distribute questions around the class. Use strong answers as a framework to get the right answer. Use peer support team, peer share to help people answer questions. Types of questioning examples. Closed questions that seek short answers. Chunking questions, chunk up and down for more or less detail. Uh, for conclusion, I can say that uh, implementation of uh, question and answer techniques has proven to be an effective teaching strategy that enhances student speaking. The question and answer uh, techniques promotes uh, students to engage uh, enhance language proficiency. The technique provides uh, students with a structure, structured and supportive um, environment in which they can practice speaking, share their ideas, and contribute to class discussions. And by regularly implementing the question answer technique, should be considered a crucial teaching strategy that can benefit students both academically and professionally. And also for, conclu for conclusion, I can say that um, I compared uh, the students who um, taught by question and answer technique, they um, gained uh, more the percentage of to learning. But uh, after this, and they without question, uh, without this technique, they gained a lower uh, degree. Did you practice this question Of course, mainly uh, all these uh, teachers, uh, I think, which they level? practice. For which level do you practice? For beginners also. For beginners, what kind of classic techniques did you use? Can you explain how orally or written form and written and oral form uh, way to increase and to develop their speaking. Uh, also, I can um, give them questions by 
我认为。That they are uh, increasing their speaking. Maybe it um, also depends on their um, vocabulary. Also, by giving answers, uh, students think and they can increase their critical thinking, their great creativity thinking, and using words. Yes, using vocabulary. And of course, it's the main uh, to increase speaking is the vocabulary. If uh, the students don't have uh, enough vocabulary, they cannot and sing. Yes. <laughs> Maybe the Question types do you know? High level questions, yes, low level questions. What kind of questions belong to these two types? Maybe higher level questions that can see uh, more complicated words and um, lower don't. Maybe you may, you should have been investigated. You should surely say this is either the questions, this is no lower question. What is it? What kind of question? What is it? How what is it? What is it? What kind of question? No level or high level? No level. No level. No high level. What kind of question? What is it? <coughs> if you 
show a picture in the house. So done. and the possible use of dialogue journals. I want uh, to tell about a theoretical uh, characteristic of uh, developing writing skills and about uh, practical types, uh, practical, uh, practical parts. The aim of our research work uh, is to give knowledge to uh, learners uh, about writing skills, about letters, its types and uh, differences between them and the main objects of the uh, research work is to learn uh, to develop their writing skills uh, through informal letters. Uh, according to these aims, we put forward the following tasks to understand uh, what writing, writing skills and uh, writing process are. Uh, situation or in difficult situation or in uh, grieving the loss. Uh, uh, this situation uh, maybe is the uh, maybe is, maybe uh, the death of uh, close people is someone uh, if someone is uh, sick uh, has lost uh, their job or uh, has an accident. Mm -hmm. uh, in in such in such kind of uh, situations, uh, finding uh, finding appro appropriate works uh, and. Um, Finding appropriate uh, works is not an easy or a uh, simple task. Mm -hmm. 
uh, using the word this uh, guide or kill it in the letters or uh, maybe uh, object in the book, uh, because these words uh, seem very rude and uh, strong. Instead of such words, the uh, writer can use the uh, words deserves. Well-structured uh, letters of uh, components should include the uh, following steps. Uh, starting point in according to uh, the loss or illness. It may uh, begin with uh, such words as uh, I was terribly to uh, hear about the death of I'm sorry to learn of your injury. Mm. It's great uh, sadness that uh, we learned it uh, on the death of and Yes. Uh, structure and uh, lexical, uh, lexical component of the world. Uh, the What is the dialogue journal? How can you use in your practice, teaching practice, teaching process? The next one I'm going to is the piano I know that your scientific work is about impact of education to the learning process. Scientific advisories can be dated to pedagogical sciences and the journal. I am a student uh, of group uh, 428 and uh, the 
um, this topic of my work, impact of teachers into the learning process. Uh, and I'm going to tell uh, about uh, who is a teacher, uh, duties and responsibilities, uh, responsibilities of the teacher, and views on, the, uh, views, uh, on effective teaching. And uh, to teach is uh, uh, learn twice over. And, uh, okay, first uh, I will I will uh, give answer. Who is a teacher? Uh, in simple words, teacher uh, is a person who uh, help people to learn. Yes, and uh, but uh, dictionary def uh, dictionary defines a teacher as a person who teach uh, who teaches or facilitates the learning process and. Uh, he just gives a definition of a teacher based on his role of the society that a teacher is the only person who are capable of imparting knowledge and checking the guns to the wider scope of knowledge. And uh, there are different kinds of teachers. For example, some teachers teach uh, young learners in kindergarten. Some teachers teach uh, in secondary schools. Yes, and some teachers call it uh, calls professor, and we can see we can see them in university in uh, lessons, and uh, uh, in general, uh, teaching is a special uh, career as it gives rise to other professions. All other professions uh, originate from the teachers, and uh, we. Uh, we cannot say uh, anybody who uh, uh, who uh, one cannot know one cannot take knowledge without teachers. And teacher is a uh, teaching is the world's largest profession. In the late twentieth uh, century, uh, was estimated that there are uh, thirty million teachers around the world. And uh, Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, then I'm going to tell about responsibilities of a teachers. Uh, teacher, a teacher carries a big responsibilities uh, in the classroom. A lot of things, uh, a lot of things depend on teachers. Uh, the teacher must create a warm and uh, protected environment in the classroom. And some at the same time they have to be professional. They have to give. Uh, they have to give knowledge. Uh, and second, uh, the fa the facilitated the teacher and learning process. Uh, this is the most important step expected to be done by the teacher before entering the class. Uh, the teacher is supposed to, uh, to prepare a plan or worksheet. Keep uh, have to keep. Class reports. A teacher is supposed to use his time while at school to check for people's attendance, for students' attendance, to keep people's progress report, to uh, and to make any other relevant follow-ups regarding his pupils. And uh, teacher create have to always create a creative and researcher. A teacher is always a resource. Move to the second chapter, okay? Sorry, can you repeat? Views of effective teaching, the kind of experiment that I have observed in the teachers. She said, Chapter 1. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Uh, next. Uh, okay. Uh, I will give. Uh, I will give information and analysis of Karabakh. Uh, Karabakh uh, teachers' attitude to teach presence. Uh, the, uh, the survey which we conducted. The identity. Identity. Uh, the is the importance of teacher presence in foreign language. Uh, we had experienced that question at, uh, question at from uh, September uh, 2022 till January 2023. Uh, in the survey, in the 20 teachers participated and have uh, they have divided into two groups. Uh, the first group consists of 10 teachers uh, who work at the Kandahar State University and uh, Nuku State Pedagogical Institute. Uh, this group of teachers uh, know a lot of, about the theory of teaching and do, they always do research on uh, and uh, they prepare teacher, teachers. Uh, the second group uh, also has the same members in the size, uh, in size and they are from licensed and secondary, secondary schools. They usually do practical work but uh, mostly don't think of theory. Uh, in the presented questionnaire, we would like to know if our teachers deeply investi uh, investigated the elements of teacher presence scholars consider the most important. They are creating an effort using appro appropriate body language, the importance of teacher language, and others. Our questionnaire has the following format with the, follow uh, with, uh, with, with the question questions. Uh, there were several questions, for example, first, uh, what is your op opinion about teachers' role in learning Korean language? Second question, uh, uh, what, do you, what do you understand by the term teacher presence? Uh, third question was, which uh, of, this, of these factors are uh, included in teacher presence? Body language or teacher's voice, eye contact? Excellent uh, English, good, uh, good knowledge on pedagogy and others. First question was, why is the teacher presence important for you? Uh, and um, questions, uh, what kind of body language do you use in your classroom? And what is the effect of eye contact in your classroom management? How do you learn strong voice in front of learners? How do you create friendly atmosphere in your class? What what is rapport? Can you always control your teacher presence? How? And in the first group, uh, in the first group, eighty percent of teachers pointed that teachers' role and teacher presence are critical in learning foreign languages. Uh, in their own practice, they control their voice and use appropriate body language, which has a great impact on students' uh, learning process. Um, despite of being uh, experienced teachers, they faced with difficulties during the questioning. Even there were some respond uh, respondents who asked how to define the meaning of body language. Uh, uh, questions? Uh, what is teacher presence? How do I understand it? Teacher presence. Okay. Uh, teacher, uh, as we see, uh, teacher uh, carries a big responsibility in their classroom, and uh, first they. they have to give good knowledge uh, and they have to fac facilitate the teaching and learning process uh, and teacher uh, have to keep uh, class reports and uh, teacher have to uh, prepare the worksheets plays uh, and uh, as a prepositions as a pp as a pp uh, tasks for example uh, teacher have to create and research
What do you mean here by analysis of Cardinal Park teacher's attitude to teacher presence? Yes. What do you mean? Okay. Uh, uh, the, survey the survey had experienced uh, from September 20, uh, 2022 till January, till January 2023. Uh, in this survey, 20 teachers, uh, 20 teachers, uh, 20 teachers participated, uh, and they uh, divided into two groups. First group, uh, first group, um, first group uh, members of Karel Park State University teachers and Nupus 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 State Pedagogical Institute, and second uh, group of members. Um, uh, uh, second uh, group of members consisted of uh, teachers of license and secondary schools, uh, and difference of the uh, difference of two groups. Uh, first group uh, has a lot of uh, has a lot of uh, theory and experience, but second group, uh, I mean teachers uh, from license and schools, they haven't uh, they haven't more uh, they haven't more theory. They usually do uh, practice, and they question it, question it uh, by question it, uh, a lot of questions. For example, uh, what kind of body language do you use, or uh, how do you uh, do you use uh, eye contact? Have a good teacher. What kind of priorities required for being a good teacher? Just one rule. Okay. Uh, to be uh, to be a uh, good teacher, uh, first uh, uh, teacher uh, have to teacher have to uh, uh, good uh, knowledge of, for example, uh, good good knowledge of the. Uh, the person has to know a lot of things. For example, English teacher has to uh, the English teacher has to know, uh, for example, uh, English grammar, English 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 uh, skills. Uh, the English teacher should be develop uh, speaking, reading, reading skills, speaking skill, uh, reading and writing skills have developed and. Uh, Teacher have to uh, have to be responsible. Uh, the uh, teacher have to came to the class on time, and in the future, ICT will replace the teacher. When you online, will replace the teacher? Uh, I think uh, I think uh, this way uh, will be effective. Uh, learning online, yes. yes. In the last students from this party is Hamid Wakiriza. 
For scientific work is about methods of implementing cognitive approach into B2 level classes. Scientific advisor is candidate of pedagogical sciences and yet the gym. I'm uh, the student the group of the uh, 428, and my topic of uh, the topic of my work is method of implementing positive approach into B2 level classes, and it consists of an introduction to chapters, conclusion, and the uh, use of literature. Uh, firstly, I would like to talk about the aim of the uh, publication paper. Publication paper. Uh, the papers of the uh, work and uh, scientific substantiation and development, uh, development uh, methodology, uh, meta methodology for developing learning cognitive, uh, cognitive uh, of students or middle level. And uh, cognition refers to me uh, mental action or process of acquiring knowledge and the understanding their so experience and senses. It encompasses many aspects in intellectual function and process, such as uh, such as attention, the formation of aspect of intellectual uh, knowledge, memory, and working memory, and evaluation, and problem solving, and uh, uh, decision making, cooperation, and production of language. Uh, process use uh, exciting knowledge and uh, generate new knowledge. And the task of the uh, research uh, uh, to study the history of uh, the issue in the scientific and uh, methodological, uh, methodological literature uh, to determine the basic requirements for the development of cognition, analyze the methodological uh, features of the formation of cognitive and the uh, physiological, linguistic, and the professional and uh, pedagogical level. Uh, to determine the role and the place uh, of modern pedagogical techno uh, technologies or one of the methods of developing uh, learning cognition. Uh, develop our own technologies uh, for the development of learning cognition and the principles of the uh, construction of, and method of the use. Uh, the object of the research is uh, the process of teaching uh, English to B2 level learners. And uh, the subject of uh, research is uh, uh, the learning staff of English who study uh, uh, at the higher educational uh, establishment and the learning English for B2 level. Uh, traditional learning way of memorization is the of trying to achieve mastery in a practical subject. Uh, the problem and fundamental aspect of cognitive learning uh, first uh, comprehension uh, for cognitive learning to be uh, a present and benefit you uh, understand the reason why you were learning a specific subject in the first place and as a second memory uh, cognitive learning discard cramming for uh, of information which is very ineffective in education Having a deep understanding of a subject improves your ability uh, to relate new knowledge with previous experience of, uh, or information. And the third, uh, application. Uh, cognitive uh, learning strategies help you uh, apply new information or skills in life situation. And they encourage you uh, as you uh, continue to develop uh, problem solving skills. Um, cognitive approach to learning. Uh, language learning and the learning had a long and uh, fruitful history. Uh, so the past third year, uh, years, uh, researchers in a variety of uh, disciplines and been attracted by possibilities of making learning more effective of the cognitive components and courses that are involved. Uh, by uh, learning more about how we learn, we expect uh, to be able to have a positive impact on the speech and effect of learning as a result. Knowledge of this uh, process of so uh, metacognitive studies and uh, that look to optimize this process for faster, more uh, comprehensive learning. Uh, finding growth about several years of uh, extensive research have shown us that and uh, that uh, metacognitive studies improved to a lesser or greater extent 
and so mindful installation and practice uh, practice the abilities of people, students, and acute skill and knowledge. Um, one of the main uh, uh, conduction uh, leading uh, to the fundamental in Korean language teaching is a part of English language teaching. Our students expect mostly is on the principle of basic uh, general English. And so, students graduates and graduates uh, for the occupational and specific needs of our English classes, uh, and don't end uh, the paper students for their uh, for their life by developing the general life uh, confidence as problem solving case study, uh, thinking first and cons of issue identify uh, identify advantages and disadvantages of the uh, scene or events. As a result, uh, when many university leaders uh, choose the job in a uh, professional related uh, space, graduates are uh, often appropriate, uh, appropriate to meet a uh, uh, occupational specific language uh, that uh, like. Um, in the short, the purpose of this study uh, was to examine the ways of developing learner cognition in the high education the term cognition in part of cognition human being in the world. That's all. Thank you for your attention. So, do this cognitive approach. Uh, cognitive approach. Uh, uh, cognitive approach is uh, the type of uh, approach, uh, uh, effective approach. Uh, uh, cognitive approach helps uh, students. Uh, Students' knowledge and uh, the memory. Uh, what are the ways of implementing the approach? The most effective methods. <laughs>